in Telangana state, we have seen only the two perennial rivers, one is a Godavari and another one is a Krishna. So these two are uh, quite far from the Hyderabad city, one is about 120 kilometers, other one is uh, uh, the, the farthest uh, feasible point is about 200 kilometers. Uh, and uh, these are basically the primarily developed for a, a specific uh, project purposes, that is for irrigation and power, whether it is a Nagarjuna Sagar, the irrigation or even the new projects. So there, uh, the, the element of uh, uh, the additional allocation was not inbuilt while uh, the contemplating the design or conceiving the project. So sharing of their sources when this drinking water being an essential thing and uh, the, the, the political uh, uh, executives also, they say, you give us and now additional allotment, they will make it. So this uh, sharing of the resources, uh, tagging on at later stage is becoming a conflicting issue because such uh, usage is not originally contemplated on the project. So right now on uh, the Singur project, uh, we have been very uh, constantly have a conflicting issues and uh, they are getting settled down at the minister level, even sometimes even the chief minister and chief secretary's level. So we will be uh, requesting them that uh, you have to maintain certain governing levels in the, in the reservoirs to enable us to draw the water uh, and also to, to restore, uh, preserve water for the next uh, um, summer seasons are drought for areas. So already it is there, even other uh, new projects also, the similar uh, conflicting issues are uh, cropping up. So this, uh, uh, the diverse project uh, purposes will be intensified particularly during the drought conditions, because at the same time, the project which is originally conceived, it is meant for the local area, they have an riparian rights, they have their local uh, drinking water uses, and uh, when the urban cities in Hyderabad city is having you know, almost 94 lakhs population, all VVIPs are saying here, the political executives say, no, somehow you curtail your requirement and see that uh, the required water to the Hyderabad city needs to be diverted and to be cooperated, such sort of request. At that time, these issues will be developed more and more. So, hence, uh, even the long distance and uh, reliable uh, sources needs to be developed for multipurpose uses, including definite allocation. Say, for example, in the Elampali Barrage is under construction now. Uh, now, uh, we are now the scheme already tagged on, it is executing almost 70 to 80 percent is over. So, still, still there is an, a dilemma whether we have an allocation particularly from that particular project. And again, it is linked with some other thing. It may be it's open, we can de de debate and discuss. It is not uh, any secret. That means the sources to be developed for multipurpose. Coming again on this aspect, the case study, the specific, the practical problem of the case studies here is that uh, the Hyderabad Metro Water Board, this city, uh, the Metro Water Board is in charge. From the beginning, it has developed many uh, source argumentation, right from Usman Sagar and Himaya Sagar way back in 1920, which are near to the city, just 10 kilometers and 15 kilometers away from the city, entire by gravity system, it is there. And later we have developed the, the irrigation project, we have uh, gone to irrigation project of Manjira Barrage. They have built and handed over to us and then Singur, which is about 60 kilometers. And again, they are uh, multi-stage, uh, uh, they further uh, this thing. This is, these are the, how the problems are there, the sustainability and ensuring sustainability with sources. What is the problem? Just I am trying to highlight. This is in a case study where really right from the age-old sources, we have a reliability problem. and developed a few decades back, we have a reliability problem and developed the projects recently from Krishna, we have a reliability problem and even the ongoing projects are having a reliability problem.